you smile in the morning. All right, so get cozy. It's gonna be a minute, okay? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Daisy and I post a lot of lifestyle videos and vlogs. Recently, I became a new mom, so there's a lot of new content that I'm bringing on my channel. Also, a lot of people that I know have been watching my videos. So, how y'all doing? I get very awkward, but thank you for watching. And if you're watching, you know me. Guys, just like my video and subscribe because you're here. Help me out. Come on. <laughs> no, but jokes aside, okay? Like the video if you like it. Dislike it if you don't like it. It, it helps. I'm just gonna jump right. Oh, she's so talkative. Look at my baby. This is my daughter. See? Hi, say hello. This is my daughter. Her name is Valerie Louise Petkovic. I know it's the whole alphabet. I know, I know. She's the cutest thing in my life. I love her so much. Look, she's half Mexican, half white. <laughs> so we had to keep the name long, like a Hispanic, but make it white. So long story short, my camera's dead. I don't want to make an excuse for not filming a video. So I'm gonna film it on my iPad. The quality is not good. It's because of that, but I think it'll be fine. Yeah, are you looking at yourself? Are you looking at yourself? <laughs> okay, let's film a video, yeah, mama? So, I did prepare myself in advance. I really hope I have no complications with this iPad or anything. I might have to feed her through the, throughout the video, so I apologize. But if you're a mama, you know how it's like. Um, I want to share with you guys my positive birth experience. Let me start off by just explaining how this little sunshine came into my life. Well, not came, but how she was born. This little mama, she was a week late she was a little overdue born at 40 weeks and in six days almost 41 weeks it wasn't the goal but little mama was really cozy in there i decided to get a cervical sweep i know a lot of people are against it but i decided to go with it honestly it wasn't terrible i was actually very scared because every story or video that i looked at was all scary but it wasn't scary it was a little uncomfortable but it was fine that was on july 19th at around i don't know 11 30 maybe 12 o'clock in the afternoon i knew that either i can go into labor and thing rolling or nothing can happen for a few days so i didn't know what to expect but i was you know bouncing on the ball after that stretching curb walking trying to get her out because i honestly i didn't want to get induced but if she didn't come out i was gonna get induced it was actually gonna be on monday i had a scheduled induction july 22nd but she didn't make it through there so thank gosh got a cervical sweep at around 12 12 p.m. let's just say around there i didn't start getting contractions until that night and they started 2 a.m on july 20th and at first you know i'm a first time mom i didn't know how it was gonna feel it was ah man the, the girls who are pregnant right now who want to know how they feel it sucks but it does feel like a cramp like a really bad cramp it started like a really bad back cramp for me okay because i know it's different for a lot of people and to be honest kind of like i was constipated and i needed to go take a you know like i'm gonna take a poop and i went to the bathroom also if you get grossed out you or you don't like details it you might want to get out of this video yeah so just a heads up tmi um but i went to the bathroom and i pushed because i felt like i had a poop i felt something come out you know i i felt like something came out the way i could explain it it was just like kind of when you're on your period and you feel like at those heavy days you know yeah like that I looked in the toilet, it was my mucus plug. It literally looks like what it sounds like. It's a mucus plug. I remember also thinking like, well, how does it look like? Or what am I looking for? I thought I lost my mucus plug throughout the week slowly, which I think I was, but I definitely lost this time. And then I, I kind of knew like, 
oh shoot that's my mucus plug i knew what that was without knowing after i lost my mucus plug things started rolling immediately after i started getting contractions at this moment it just felt like cramps they just kept coming and going coming and going not too consistent but they were coming and they were noticeable dude and i was freaking out i was just thinking oh my god today's day today's night this is it's gonna happen but then i tried to think about the stories that say that it doesn't happen sometimes and you can be like that for like three days i was panicking a little bit but i decided to calm down by taking a warm shower i got in the shower it was helping me relax but i was getting those cramps and in the shower when i would get the cramps i would kind of push hoping it would help me when i deliver her i would push a little bit yeah i kept losing parts of my mucus plug again tmi i'm sorry i got out of the shower and i i felt those contractions keep getting closer so at this point i wake up my boyfriend and i tell him hey babe like i'm pretty sure i'm going into labor i updated him on everything and he kind of looked at me and said like i don't know what do you want to do to be honest i didn't know what to do then i downloaded some contraction timer and i started started timing them i told him if it ends up being like five minutes apart hour for a minute then i'll call and they started to do that so i called triage told them hey i've been having contractions for for a minute every four to five minutes within the hour what do i do they told me to pack my bags and get ready to come in so we start getting our stuff and every time the contractions would stop i would feel completely fine it kind of threw me off in my head i'm like am i making it up am i exaggerating maybe i'm just thinking that it's really painful because i want her to come out but i don't know so we start going and the hospital is about 30 minutes away but thank god since it was so early there was no traffic there was nothing in the way we got to the hospital they you know checked me in and they checked me they went, and i was still three centimeters which was not that much of a difference when i went to get my cervical check the day prior i think i was like two and a half centimeters open and i opened to three centimeters so they were like you know basically it's not enough to check you in and give you a room yet. I was thinking to myself, barely bearable, these pains. So I was a little nervous, even though I already knew going into like, since the beginning, since I got pregnant, I knew I was going to do epidural. But if I changed my mind, obviously I was, I, I knew I was going to get the drugs like from the start. So I, I got the epidural, but they weren't going to check me in until I was at least four centimeters. They're like either, you know, if you want want to you can try walking around the facility for like an hour and then come back which i said you know yeah it's two o'clock in the morning i'm not leaving I, I have pain i'm not leaving we walked around like labor delivery area which let me tell you was the longest hour of my life i didn't even make it an hour i made it like 40 minutes 35 minutes not even every time i would do a lap that walk works okay if you have to take some a walk walk it worked it activated that labor i went from um, three centimeters and 50% of face to four centimeters and like 80% of face. So I was pretty open. I always thought to myself, how is it going to feel? So everyone's contractions are kind of different, but mine were all on my back, dude. I couldn't even think. I couldn't think. I couldn't. That's how painful it was. It was kind of like, you know when you get a toothache, but it was in my back and it was like pulsating through my whole body. And before it starts, like before the contraction hits, that is like gathering up, like becoming this pain in your back at least for me and oh, it was no joke it was no joke i remember just thinking oh my god what the f did i do that's i literally said that i messed up and i knew he couldn't help and i remember trying to lean over and it wouldn't help trying to bend it wouldn't help like nothing would help i couldn't i could not get comfortable i tried breathing too i looked it at my boyfriend and he was obviously tired because it was so early in the morning he was yawning and he had these tired eyes and i remember looking at him stop blinking like that his blinking was irritating me then i got checked after like about 35 40 minutes because i started to get nauseous and i told my boyfriend you need to call the doctor because i'm gonna throw up. go ask for a cup of water and tell her to come check me because i don't feel good meanwhile i grabbed myself a barf bag because yeah i did not feel good i thought i was gonna throw up it felt horrible it was finally four centimeters and then 80 percent of face they took me to a room i'm still getting contractions keep in mind so i'm in pain everyone's asking me questions how old are you what's your name what's your birthday who do you want in the room do you have a birth 
I was like, why don't you guys ask these questions before you get checked in? I don't understand. But whatever. I couldn't even think. The pain was so real. So it sucked. They're like, so do you want epidural? And I like cut them and I said, yes, I want the epidural. They're like, do you want it called for now? And I remember saying, yes, I want it now. And the nurse that was in there, she it was kind of like if she was trying to back me off getting the epidural. She was like, are you sure you don't want the epidural? And I was like, yes, I'm positive. And she responded with, are you sure you don't want like fentanyl? That sounds scarier than the epidural, which I'm pretty sure the epidural has that. But and no, you, what? You can tell me I want, if I want fentanyl? No. Yeah, so I ended up getting the anesthesia. The girl that put, the doctor, the girl, whatever, that puts the epidural in, they came in. Everything at this moment is going by so fast. Time is passing by so fast. It's about 4 o'clock, maybe 5 o'clock in the morning now. They put the epidural. By the way, if you're kind of hesitant, if you want the epidural or not, I recommend yes. I had the best experience. Doesn't hurt. I'm a little sissy for needles. And I got a tattoo. I feel like this hurt more than the epidural. And that was like nothing. It doesn't hurt. You don't feel it. Trust me. Or just wait until the day and you'll find out if you want it or not. After the epidural, they checked me. They also put a catheter in me because I can't get up to go pee or nothing. And I was from 4 to 7 centimeters and I was still 80% of face. So I had progressed pretty freaking fast within like that hour that they were admitting me and like checking me in and everything. After I got the epidural though, I guess this is a con but it's not really a con. My progression, it, it slowed down and then I, I like was just relaxed, chilling, no pain at all. Like if I just, before I started contractions, I didn't push until three o'clock in the afternoon. So I didn't try to go to sleep. I know a lot of people say go to sleep but I didn't try to go to sleep. Anytime I felt any pressure, I did try to push push like if i was trying to push out a tampon if you guys were you wear tampon i mean that's how i would push when i would feel any kind of pressure but i barely even felt pressure so it was only a couple times the last time they checked me was it was at 359 because they they checked me and i was fully dilated to a 10 and i was also 100 percent effaced i was ready so they're like okay honey you know we're gonna try pushing and i just remember thinking what my sisters told me you put your chin down to your chest or to your stomach you grab your legs and you push like you're trying to push a tampon and you're taking a poop don't be shy if you poop you poop like it doesn't matter push and so when they made me practice push that's exactly what i did but immediately this is 359 they told me okay you need to stop pushing and we're gonna start actually pushing because that was perfect she's gonna come out so stop pushing they started gearing up putting all this stuff on getting the tables ready the lights down which was a little intimidating it's like oh sh like here's the big moment i'm about to give birth it was pretty nerve-wracking but i was ready now it's about four o'clock minute later and i did three pushes three minutes and she was out on the third one i, I didn't tear big i guess i tore a little bit but not enough for even stitches pushing was pretty good and i know when i tore not because i felt it but because i messed up on the breathing when they told me okay on the last push i want you to blow like you're blowing out can Candles, I kind of like got out of breath and I just like let that breath go don't let that breath go when you're breathing like that it's because you're slowly guiding them out and yeah and then she got out they put her on my chest they kind of like you know pat her back and then she finally gasped for air and you know let that cry out and that cry I will never forget it was the best moment of my life I 10 10 recommend would do it again but yeah and also the epidural was well worth it but yeah, she was born at 4.03 p.m. on July 20th, 2023. She weighed 7 pounds and 14 ounces. She was 20 inches long. My cute little baby. And yeah, that was our birth story. Not dramatic, really easy, really peaceful. Nothing to complain about. But yeah, so, so now that I'm done with my story, I do have a couple questions that a couple of you guys left me on Instagram. By the way, if you're not following me on Instagram. I have a bunch of questions on like I always have a bunch of information for YouTube on there. And if you're coming from there, what's up? You're probably in here. First question. So how was your pregnancy experience? My pregnancy experience was a little 
traumatic, but it was beautiful still. I, you know, I don't regret it because I learned a lot. Only because I had a miscarriage in the beginning. Yeah, it started off kind of crappy because then I just, it kind of ruined the enjoyment of the beginning of a pregnancy journey. You know, like I was just panicking the whole time. Like, is this pregnancy going to stick? Am I going to lose it again? Um... Am I gonna have to go through the whole DNC process again? It just sucked. I was kind of scared. Got a little more enjoyable at the end, but I never stopped panicking, which I, even if you don't have a miscarriage, you're probably gonna still panic the whole time, which is normal, I guess. Next question, where did you deliver? I delivered in South Sacramento, Kaiser. Hospital service was okay. Food sucked. Yeah, it wasn't good, like a bland. And did I poop during labor? No, I did not poop. And I pushed, I think not caring like I was gonna poop. So did I tear? Yes, but not enough for stitches. Very minimal tear. Did I get induced? No, but I was scheduled to get induced two days after the day I actually delivered. Do you recommend cervical checks? Personally, I do. I had a really positive experience. It didn't hurt. It was uncomfortable, but it did not hurt. If you're trying to get the baby out, if they're kind of in there for a minute, I say do it. I have I'm nothing against it. So yes on my behalf. How was your recovery? My recovery, physically my recovery was pretty good. I'm not going to lie. There's nothing bad about it. I mean, I stopped bleeding pretty early too, according to my sisters. Since I didn't tear, it didn't really hurt, but mentally recovery was not too bad either but i did deal with the whole drastic change overnight so it was a little you know it took a little bit of me um mentally because i just kept thinking of the worst i didn't sleep i was sleep deprived um she got jaundice like right after she was born and something else the something billy billy because her blood and mine didn't mix and they mixed when she was born other than that pretty good recovery was pretty good thank god do you want more babies after experiencing birth i actually was wondering this question before i gave birth but yes i do want more babies after delivering and experiencing it personally the pain is nothing compared to how much happiness i feel after so yes and then honestly i, I can't have her alone she has to have a buddy to fight with even though she has like a billion cousins but yeah did you take home your placenta no but fun fact i did have it in my birth plan that i was gonna take home i didn't have an ice chest and honestly i didn't know where i was gonna put it and i didn't really know what i wanted to do with it so i just i didn't end up taking it home was there anyone in the delivery room no or when i pushed her nobody but the doctor a nurse and me and Devin. I will probably keep doing for the rest of my pregnancies and births in the future because it was an awesome experience that way. I think I would have had a little more complications because I would have been holding a lot back, if that makes sense. I was more comfortable with the people I had. How much did baby weigh? Uh, baby weighed seven pounds and 14 ounces. Would you say birth is painful? One to 10, how painful was birth? Well, I had the epidural birth was literally like not even a one yeah it wasn't it wasn't painful because of the epidural uh contractions on the other part those things dude i got to a seven okay a seven before i got my epidural <laughs> those were intense those were a 11 those hurt what did you experience during pregnancy or after Symptom wise, um, I experienced a lot of heartburn, some motion sickness. I didn't throw up until the last trimester and it was because anytime I would eat something heavy, my body wouldn't digest it. So I would just throw it up, but I only threw up a total of like three times. It wasn't too bad, but it sucked. For the nausea, I always had lemon, lime, or tahine and that helped me. And that's pretty much it on that. Was it all that you expected? Like birth? It, I don't even know what I expected. I actually thought it was going to be more terrifying and traumatic than it actually actually was so no it wasn't I guess I had I had really I had really scared myself in my brain it wasn't that bad it was really it was really nice <laughs> I would probably do it again we'll see how the next one is back to the last question something that I did not expect 
was getting pups after birth. I didn't know that was a thing, but I got pups, P-U-P-P-S. Come here. Sorry, she was trying to jump in the bed. Also, if you see a fly, I'm sorry. And if you see my pimple patch, um, first time trying this, so. But back to the thing, I experienced pups. P-U-P-P-S. It's a rash you develop during pregnancy or after pregnancy, like after giving birth. Um, it just can happen to anyone who's either a first time, like a mom, you have skin problems and something else. I don't know. But I ended up developing it, which was crazy. The rashes were horrific. I do not recommend that. That's what sucked, okay? That's what sucked out of the whole thing. Pup. I was not prepared for that. I probably do a story time about that because I didn't know that thing existed, okay? I was like kind of prepared on everything else, but not that. Nobody in my family had that. What's one thing you wish you knew before birth? I wish that, that I knew that was a thing because I ended up developing it. And then the swelling, not even like before birth, but after birth. I don't know if that's because they gave me so many fluids but i was so swollen my legs were huge did you have any scares before or after birth no thank god i didn't have any scares that i know of i'm very grateful for that my baby girl is giddy huh you want to say hi say hello guys i'm up yeah, and right now, my baby girl is actually, when I post this video, she'll probably be three months. So yeah, she's three months. I'm so happy. I'm still scared and nervous every day because, I don't know, I'm scared she's going to die. <laughs> I'm scared she's going to get sick or just, I don't want her to get hurt at all. I have a lot of intrusive thoughts. So that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry that it wasn't so aesthetically pleasing. And I always look like this, looking like poop. But we got it done. Oh, are you spitting up? We got it done. And now I'm going to edit film some more videos for you guys. Uh, next week. Say, say bye, everybody. Oh, don't pull my pimple patch. Say bye. Say hello. All right, bye guys. See you in the next video. Also, please help me by liking and subscribing if you can. And I'll see you in the next one. Woo -hoo.